Hey, what's going on guys? Devin here with Backcountry Exposure. Today we're discussing all of the different styles of backpacking chairs out there and try to help you decide which chair makes the most sense for you and your backpacking style. Got several different options, so let's go ahead and dig into it. I wanna start with the most basic and simple style of backpacking chair. And that's gonna be some kind of sit pad or ground type of, of chair, whether that's a Crazy Creek or a sit pad. Now, a sit pad is usually gonna be some kind of piece of foam, like the Thermarest Z-Seat, or something that'll blow up like this Climate sit pad. But basically, the benefit of using a sit pad, because you might ask, why not just sit on the ground? If you're just gonna be sitting on the ground, why do you need something underneath you? Well, the benefit to using something like this is this is going to give you some kind of insulation from any cold ground that you might be sitting on or wet ground and you don't want to get yourself really dirty. I can use a sit pad like this as a frame sheet for a backpack if I'm using a frameless pack so it's a multi-use item and then I've also got even a pillow option with a sit pad like this. There's just a lot of different benefits of making this a multi-use type of product. Now, if you move on to a different style of ground type chair, you've got a Crazy Creek. Now, Crazy Creeks are pretty cool. The one big downside to them is they're heavy and they're bulky. I do have back support with this that I don't have with a sit pad unless I lean myself against a log or a rock and I've got the ability to kind of move around as I, as I want. The one thing that's difficult about this is if I want to start doing any kind of cooking, then I'm in kind of an awkward, weird position to do that. And I'm not a fan of like sitting over here like this, being able to cook. And because of the way that the chair is formed, I can't put my knees flat on the ground. It's a little bit awkward. I mean, I can get into this position, but you can see what I'm saying here. So. Downsides to the Crazy Creek are it's heavy, it's bulky, and it doesn't compact really small like these do, and they can be kind of difficult to get in and out of. So that's a Crazy Creek, but I do love this chair. Great for river trips and that kind of stuff too. Now moving on to a stool option. This is gonna be kind of the hybrid or the option between sitting on the ground and using a full supportive style chair like a Helinox, which this is not a Helinox, but it's a, a stool's gonna get you off of the ground. What I've got here is a new stool. This is brand new, uh, and I'm getting an early look at this BTR Better Than a Rock stool from Hill Sound Equipment. So, telescoping legs, which is really cool, and uh, this isn't available until spring uh, 2020, so it's cool that I get to check this out, provide feedback for them. Uh, ahead of time. But there's a lot of different stool options out there. This one is super lightweight. It's lighter weight than the Crazy Creek. This is like two pounds and this thing weighs 12 ounces. So the benefit, the nice thing to it is, I've got something really simple, basic, easy to deploy and set up for when I maybe want to take a, a lunch break on the trail. I can still cook fairly easy with everything here. I can do all of that, and then I've got even the ability to do any kind of fishing that I want from this chair that I wouldn't be able to do from here. So if I'm going on a backpacking trip that has any kind of fishing that I want to do, I can set this up, I can cast, catch those fish, reel them in. It's a nice, nice option that's lightweight. The downside to it is it may not be as stable as a four-legged chair and obviously sitting on the ground and it, uh, it doesn't have any back support. So I'm sitting here and I don't have anything to lean my back against and it forces me to lean forward like this. So even though this is a fairly small uh, stool seat, it's comfortable, fits me well, and it's super lightweight, really easy to put away, way easier than these other two chairs that I have. And there you go, you've got a little tiny lightweight stool. Now moving on to kind of a hybrid full supportive chair. This is the A-Lite Monarch chair. The reason I say this is a hybrid is because this does not have uh, four legs to it. It is a balanced type chair. You've got kind of this complicated pole structure to be able to set this up. And it just takes time to put this together, which is the one big downside to me about it. And it's a lot heavier in weight 
than other options out there. This chair alone is like 20 ounces in weight. Yes, it is easily one of the most comfortable chairs that I've used, but it's a balanced style chair. So I have to sit in it like this and just kind of plop down and then I'm on that pivot point to be able to sit. This is like a lounge chair, like the lazy boy of backpacking. It's super comfortable and I can't complain about what it adds to after doing a lot of miles in a day to be able to just lean back, kick my feet, and just enjoy a nice lounge. Lounging, lounging, lounging. It's a little bit awkward because now if I want to cook and that kind of stuff, it, uh, it makes it more difficult to do that and it's in an awkward position. It's not as tall as this hill sound stool. It's definitely versatile, but it does add a bit of weight to your pack and it's a bit bulky. Not as bulky as the Crazy Creek, but you've got this bag that I, I can put this in right on top of my, my gear inside of my pack most of the time, but it also will fit into a water bottle pocket, which is nice. But it's definitely smaller than this chair, which we'll get into here in a second. So now this style of chair has become very popular as of late, and there are a lot of different uh, knockoffs and people doing it on Amazon. The Helinox was basically more or less the first company to put this style of chair together, which kind of changed the game for chairs in the backcountry and I would I would argue that it's worth the minimum the lowest amount of weight that I have found in this style of chair is one pound from the Helinox uh, chair zero I think it's called uh, I can't remember if it's if it's the chair one or the chair zero but either way this chair is your like king suite your penthouse suite of chairs for the backcountry super comfortable you've got a lot of back support the one big downside to these chairs well two is the weight of them as well as the bulk and so i guess three things they tend to sink into the ground really easy and so other companies have come up with ways to create some kind of like basket here on the legs that make it so it doesn't sink into the ground it's just one of those things that if you get this style of chair, that's what you're gonna have to manage and deal with. Probably the most comfortable type of backpacking chair out there if you are willing to carry the bulk and the weight in your backpack. You can obviously go more simple, more basic with your chair systems, and it just depends on what your personal preference, your personal style is. I can't complain about how nice this is to sit in. I can't lounge the way that I can in, in this A-Lite chair. My goodness. <laughs> I, it's just, it's so nice. And if I'm doing big miles and I, I have back problems or I know I'm going to be sitting around camp a lot, this is the way to go. It really is. And, I mean, the versatility of a stool I really enjoy. And there's times that I only bring a ground-type uh, chair or a sit pad and I don't bring anything of this nature. That's backpacking chairs, guys. You get to decide for yourself which one you think is the best for backpacking. Right now, my current favorite because I'm so stoked to have a chair under 12, or sorry, under a pound in weight. The 12 ounces, I've got super lightweight that just stuffs really easy to, into the pack. This thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. This thing's awesome. It's all good, guys. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't. Hope you have an awesome day. We'll catch you on the next video.